y'all. Welcome back to My Real California Life. Happy Monday. I guess that's kind of, I feel like happy Monday is kind of an oxymoron. In a way, you know, because it's Monday. But anyways, it is a very, very good Monday for me anyways. So if y'all are new here, shh, always. I'm Sandra. <laughs> it chimes the second I start recording. So I do hope that you really like it here and you would hit, you would consider hitting the subscribe button, hit the bell right next to it. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video and hopefully you like it. Give us a thumbs up and leave me a comment. I love hearing from you guys. I love getting to know you. I love talking to you. So anything you want to leave, I'm more than happy and I love answering all the comments. So first off, um, I am going to be doing a look using the James Charles palette, Morphe and James Charles. I did just get this um, the other day. Finally, I know I'm like late on everything, but I, I just couldn't decide if I wanted it or not. It was like, I did, I didn't, I did, I didn't, I didn't really need it. You know, do we really need any of it? But I went into the store to return a couple other things I had ordered online and I have to tell you, like, I didn't swatch it because it's really dirty, you know, and I didn't even want to touch it, but looking, being able to, like, see it, and, like, this purple is just amazing, and so I was like, you know what, I have to get it, my good word, and so I got this, actually, and the Alien palette. Now, I've already done my foundation, and then um, I put on a little bit of blush, so I did watch a video, however, and he did say that it is not eyeshadow, it's pressed pigment. So you do want to use an actual eye primer, which I don't typically do, but I think I'm going to. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe I'll start without it and see how it goes, but I definitely will do it for like the shimmery. So we'll see. So you guys. Do you see that? Okay, I have to tell you. So, a few weeks ago, I'm going to actually start real quick doing some stuff. A few weeks ago, I'm going to be using my Morphe brush set. Not my James Charles, but it is a Morphe brush set. So, I saw, um, we're going to do, just put an all over color. Hold on, let's see. So, on Instagram, I saw that... Zales had done a new jewelry line or you know I thought it was it looked like it had just come out or whatever and so um I'm gonna use just the top corner and I don't normally like dust them off because I just I don't know I just don't normally do that well isn't that kind of like wasting you know yeah I know you get kind of a lot sometimes and I guess if you don't want it but I just feel like that kind of is you know you're wasting your makeup but this was just the top corner one. I cannot, I'm not going to be able to look at that piece of plastic, you know, between each one. That's going to drive me crazy. So, and it is, he did say it was like pretty skin color. Like when he put it on, it was like exactly his skin color. And you know what? That's what it's looking like for me too. Like exactly my skin color. That's crazy. Krista, Krista. But okay. Yes, I have a nice little uninvited visitor and you, it's right on your lip, you know, you know how bad that is. That hurts. That's like such a sensitive area, but okay. So yes, a couple weeks ago on my Instagram, I saw that Zales had a new jewelry line and it was Disney's villains. And it was like, there was like, um, Elsa, even though she's not a villain, but I think there was something from Frozen, and then there was like uh, Maleficent, and there was just a bunch of other ones, you know, and so um, there was one ring in particular that, because if you guys have been here, you know, I'm not like a huge jewelry person, and I'm not like a huge materialistic person. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I did use the highlight in here, this one right here, out of this middle row with the big pans, that's the only shimmery. And when I was just watching the video, he referred to it as a highlight shade. So I decided to go ahead and use it as a highlight. Hold on. I need you nope. Sorry. 
He's out there with my husband. So I went ahead and used that. Now you can see, you know, it is really pretty. I did have to do a couple. This was, I think, two layers. So you did have to build it up a little bit. But it's not so noticeable like anywhere else except for, you know, right there with the light you can see. Um, but it is pretty, you know, so we'll see. Anyways, um, that... I was looking through that collection, and like I was saying, I'm not a big, so I'm not one of those people that's going to be like, oh my gosh, I need like a $5,000 ring or a $10,000 ring. Like, I am not like that at all, seriously. That's, that could buy a car. Like, you know, that is not, I get a lot of my jewelry, like Mint Mongoose, my subscription that's $12 a month. So anyways, I saw this one ring, and I think it was, you know, it wasn't too much. Anyways, and, uh oh, where did it go? Oh gosh, you guys. Oh, so I have to show you guys real quick. Do you see that? So it's a big pink sapphire. It's rose gold and it had black diamonds that were thorns. I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh. Oh, another thing because I don't like white diamonds. All my rings um, from Travis, my husband, are colored. My engagement ring was actually black diamonds and just a couple little clear diamonds. And then the other ring that he got me like five years ago when I had forest was a purple stone with a couple clear diamonds. So I always like colored stones. So if he's not the best, look at that. It is gorgeous. I love it. It's so pretty. So, so pretty. Oh my goodness gracious. And on the side is so cute. It's got like, um, I'll show you. Hold on. It's like a crown, you know, because it's the villains. So there's a crown there and a crown on the other side. I thought it was so cute. So the big old pink, so pretty. Look at that. And then you have the little black diamonds that are in the shape of the thorns and the rose gold. <gasps> So, so pretty. He did so good. So good. Oh my goodness gracious. So that was like Monday. Monday's perfect now. So I have no idea what I'm going to do though or how I'm even going to do this. I have a feeling like I'm really, really worried that I'm going to be disappointed and I don't want to be. So hold on. I'm going to stick, turn that off for now. Okay. And I did finally just get an email. I actually emailed Hank and Henry because it had been quite a while and I hadn't heard anything. So I did email them and they did say there was a problem um, and their inventory didn't come in when it was supposed to. So at least now I know what's going on and it'll be a little bit longer, hopefully soon though. Okay, you guys, there's so many amazing, like beautiful colors. I don't even know, I don't even know what to do. Mm -hmm. I'm, I mean, I'm definitely going to use that purple glitter, but I feel like I'm going to do that like in the center. So I'm kind of, yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to do this pink. Um, look at this. I will figure out what this is. Hold on. Let's see. Skip. So I'm going to use skip, which is the pink. We'll go over it right now just so we can figure it out. Artistry is that beautiful iridescent shimmery purple. And then I'm honestly probably going to go in with acapella which is a shimmery blue I'll show you guys in a minute as the underneath and then I'm probably honestly going to put hello which is a light blue as my inner corner we'll see okay so let's go in with this hopefully it will stick I did not have primer on but I did have like my foundation on so we'll see oh my goodness okay it's actually like, I mean, I haven't started blending, but just putting it down. Look at that. I just barely rubbed in the pan. So, okay. That's looking nice. Okay, okay. Okay. I don't know what everyone was making a big fuss about. I mean, not everyone, but a couple. Like I'm saying, like him, I saw James himself was like, you have to use, you know, it just won't work right. And then I saw somebody else too that they were like, I didn't listen to him. And I went just, you know, normal like I would. And it was, wouldn't blend, wouldn't do this, wouldn't do that, wouldn't lay down. And it's like, I think it's doing really good. 
So again, I'm going to go, you know, the outside and the inside, bring it up. And then the middle's where I'll do that purple. But we're going to lay down this pink. So, oh my goodness, you guys. Yes, so not only, like I said, did I get this palette and the Alien palette, which, yes, my husband didn't go into Morphe and buy them. I bought them, but this was his present, you know, part of his present to me. And, um... And then if you've been here, you know, I recently did an order with Shop Hush also, and I got all five of the Pat McGrath knockoff palettes. They're normally, I think, 24 and they were on clearance. I got them for $7.80. So we have those coming and I cannot wait to try those because I've seen a couple people who are like, you know what, it actually is really, really good. Like they did a good job of duping the Pat McGrath. So, I am so excited for that, but on top of that, yes, my husband got me this amazing ring. Oh my goodness gracious, he's so awesome. And like I said, I'm not a big, like, jewelry person, so I think that's why, like, whenever I do see something and I'm like, oh, I really like this, he, like, pays attention and is like, oh, okay, because I'm not normally like that with jewelry. Like I said, the last ring that um, he got me was a little bit after we had Forrest. And actually, we had gone up to Oregon to see his grandparents, to take Forrest to go see his great-grandparents. By the way, this color is, like, really, really gorgeous. And um, there's a store up there called Fred Meyers, and it's kind of like our Costco, I guess. Well, here in California, we have Costco. But um, in Oregon, they had Fred Meyers. But I think, don't think you had to pay like a membership fee like Costco. Anyways, they had a really cool jewelry store there. And it was like they had a really good sale. sale and that's where he got me my purple one. I think it's like Tanzanite or something. And um, that's the one I wore all the time. Well, since we got it because it was on the same size finger. It was the same size as my wedding, you know, my engagement or whatever. Which, like I said, is black and white diamonds. But that too is... um kind of like a vintage style. I really love that old vintage style. Okay, so we're gonna kind of, I wanted to kind of get that pink laid down and then I'm gonna kind of do, this is like such a pretty color. And like I said, I don't have any eye primer. I just had my foundation, like when I laid my, you know, when I did my normal foundation on my face, I put it on my eyelids also, but I don't set my face with powder, so I didn't do anything. And by the way, dude, that no problem primer from Touch and Soul that we got in BoxyCharm, ooh, I love it. But I didn't do anything, you know, except for, like I said, my, um, my foundation, and it's doing amazing 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 it's blending really nice it's not like you know the color is still really really vibrant and so I really like this and there's like you can create just endless endless looks with this like seriously endless looks so we're gonna go ahead I am gonna bring since I brought it out kind of far um like right here I'm gonna go ahead and just work with it and stay like that. Kind of bring it down. Um, like I said, I'm going to do the blue underneath. But we'll just go ahead and soften it out a little bit with that. With this pink. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. And I love a good pink. And this is like a really, really good pink. Really good pink. So, my goodness. Oh, also, you guys, oh my goodness, you are never going to believe what I did last night. So, again, I could not sleep. And this time, instead of order, I mean, you would be really, really proud of me. Because this time, instead of ordering something, I canceled something. So, I decided in all reality, after I was like, okay, I just got the new subscription to Slay Glam Box. My husband just got me, you know, these palettes. And then um, I do still have so much makeup that either I've only used once or twice. I even have some that I still have never gotten a chance to even use. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to go, since they had released the whole, like, look for the Boxy Lux, 
I went and watched it again and I was like, I'm going to see, do I really, really like need this stuff or is it just like, okay, I'm going to have all this stuff and in honesty, all honesty, I'm probably not going to use it or I will maybe, but I don't really need it or, you know, I'm probably going to end up just giving it away. So do I really need to spend $50, you know, so I went on and looked and sure enough, everything like not one thing was something that I needed I absolutely do not want those morphe pellets not any of them yeah I would be if I got if I was getting it I would hope I would have gotten like the I think it's like the brunch bay because it had a couple pinks or the nighttime because it had a couple purples the other two I would have been like oh this sucks like all those colors and right before they announced that they were doing that I ordered the only two of that set, those 15 pan sets that I liked. And I got the, the 15T and the 15S. And these are the only two that are like the pretty colors. And you have the 15T, which is like the grungy, like I said. I That's what I would call it, you know, but... And then this one, the 15S, which is like gorgeous, totally, you know, my, uh, my alley colors. But the other ones are like bland, you know, like just neutral, normal. And I do not mean it meanly, like if that's what you like, a lot of people like those colors or have to wear those colors to work or something. So to me, I don't think that one of those palettes is like amazing, like luxury box. I just bought them. I think they're like $16, you know, and you can do afterpay with Morphe where you break it up. Anyways, and then like the cream, I don't necessarily need it. Yeah, it's expensive cream, but I have like a bunch of them that I've gotten from other boxes still that I'm working on. And then, um, you know, some the brushes, they're cute, but I have tons of brushes. Like there's just nothing like the eyebrow thing. I don't do my eyebrows. The Becca lipstick, yeah, it's cute, some of the colors, but I have so many lipsticks. Like there is just nothing that I was like I need that oh the cover effects face palette I do not wear bronzer I have a million high not a million highlighters but I have the highlighters that I want and then I just got a couple bronzer palettes that I'm trying to figure out like one I'm going to keep one I know I'm going to give away you know what I mean you get it I just gave another one away so I was like you know what I'm just I'm canceling you know what I'm going to do it without the primer at all because I want to see since I've gone this far without the primer I want to see how it's going to be um, because I'm not going anywhere anyways I'm just staying home so if it doesn't last that long oh well because this pink did phenomenal so anyways he did say though that these dark shimmer the bright shimmers like this are best packed on with a flat brush so I am going to do that but man this color is so gorgeous if I can get it I might not be able to get it with this. Maybe I have to spray it. I can do that. I will do that. Hold on. I know I totally just... Okay. I don't know how much you're supposed to, like, spray when you do that. <sighs> okay. So, yeah. So, I canceled the Boxy Lux. That's what I was talking about. Hello, goldfish. Goldfish mind. And, um... And I was like, well, do you, okay, that didn't do much difference either. So let me kind of scrape it a little bit. I hate when I have to do that, but sometimes that's what you've got to do if you don't want to use your finger. Um, the normal box, I don't need anyways. They've confirmed, I think it's the Cover FX face palette. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to cancel it. And in all honesty, I wasn't going to cancel. I was going to like skip a month. And, like, BoxyCharm doesn't have that as an option. So, I was like, okay, well, that's a little weird. So, I had no op choice. You know, I had to cancel it. Um, and they were like, I can't remember what it asked, you know, but it asks you to leave a reason why. And I said I was just going to skip, but there isn't an option. So, I canceled, and then that was it. I was like, okay, it canceled. It did have, it. Did, some of it did fall because, oh my gosh, do not, Sandra, I just stuck my elbow in it. Come on. Um, because I was, like I said, kind of like digging at it a little bit to get it to come up. But you guys, like, look at how pretty that color is. It is so gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. 
that sh okay come on that shimmery purple some of it just fell on my cheek I felt it that's why I stopped like that I was like talking and I felt it fall on my cheek I probably need to spray it real quick okay maybe I put the lid back on it come on Sandra you know what forget it we're gonna go in with our finger because that's what the issue is here wait uh oh you know what I might have to go yep I am gonna have to go in with the spray on because that did not do it. But look at that, so pretty. After I had already rubbed most of it off, but it is a really pretty color. Okay, so I did spray that. I hope I didn't mess it up. No, no, there we go, okay. It's just so metallic-y, like, okay, let's see. I should have definitely listened and done the primer here because that's what would have made it stick better, like kind of like a glitter adhesive almost because it is like so, you know, glittery. So I hear him out there singing to his dad, how funny, but it is so like shimmery and glittery, but look at how pretty it is. So obviously I will, like I'm not doing his palette very well justice here, you know, I didn't follow the directions that he specifically laid out to make it, you know, go over to give you the best shot of it working. So if I would have followed directions, it probably would, you know, have turned out a lot more vibrant, but it's still absolutely amazing. And I'm not done. I'm still going to, you know, finish it. But yeah, so this will be the first month since I've, you know, started my channel that I, well, March, that I, okay, next month, March, will be the first month since I've started my channel that I will not be, you know, getting BoxyCharm because that was the first box that I ordered. But in all honesty, with the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, and like I said, I got that new subscription, the Slay Glam Box, I'm just like, ugh. You know, it's kind of like, eh. You guys, look at how pretty that is. Oh my good word. That purple is just gorgeous. Okay, now I said I was going to go in with um, the... Okay, let me show you guys. So, the one I said I was going to go underneath with is going to be this one. And then I'm going to do this as the inner corner. Is that not going to be like, oh my good word. Okay, First of all, where's my other brush from earlier? There we go. We're gonna, that was just the bone color, but I'm going to use it to do a little, like my um, brow bone. I'm going to do, hopefully, did I go overboard? That was a lot different than I was expecting, but very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. We'll kind of just... buff that out not your eyebrows Sandra come on look at that it's like almost matches the highlighter but it's not the same this is the second one the second color on the top that I don't know the name for but see this is obnoxious I would much rather have had it just be right on the palette but it's okay because I don't really care about the names but I'm not gonna like get that sheet every time you know it is, these colors are gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, now we're gonna do that shimmery dark blue as the underneath. So let's get that going. I'm kind of bummed that the Hank and Henry, the um, Alter Ego Eye Kits, if you don't, if you weren't here, you don't remember, I got the, I think the blue one, which I think it's called Nympho. And then I got the pink one. I don't remember what it's called and um the pink one just came back in stock or it's supposed to that's the one they're waiting on because they were out of stock on so many things for a long time so as soon as they restocked they went ahead and honored their um on black friday they had had a 35 percent off sale but it was like they were didn't have so much stuff that everyone was like hey what's up so He's like, as soon as I restock, we're going to go ahead and honor the discount. And sure enough, they did. So I was like, heck yeah, jump on that discount bandwagon. 
and Hank and Henry does Afterpay. As you know, I've talked about that all the time. And um, love me some Afterpay. And so, as soon as they restocked, I'd been, I know they had the blue, which I had wanted anyways, but I had wanted that pink one also. I mean, that shimmery pink in it is just gorgeous. And if you haven't checked out his Alter Ego Eye Kits, go check them out because they're like three colors. You get a whole bunch of stuff, but they're super awesome. The colors are just amazing. I just spit again, excuse me. So, okay, I'm going to go in with that shimmery, like icy blue as my inner corner. So let's see. I mean, hey, we're going to go for it. We're going to go all out. And I saw, oh my gosh, I don't honestly know how to do my inner corner. And I just normally plop it down. But, um, is her name Betty Jean? I don't know. Her channel's Butte Bean. And I love her. She's so pretty. And I was watching her this morning. I couldn't sleep. And it was like 5 a.m. My husband had gone to work. And I watched her. She put down a really pretty color on her inner corner that she did. And, um, she put it in there like that. And then she swirled it like that, you know. Like, I ha don't have the best coordination. I'm trying to figure out which direction I want to take this. But... I was like, oh my gosh, I always wondered, like, exactly how do you do your inner corner highlight? And it's like, well, there you go. So, I will link her channel down below, too, because she's awesome. And this looks just amazing. I love it. I love this blue for this inner corner highlight. I kind of want to blend them a little bit here, but... Like, that is so freaking pretty. I'm glad I decided. I was going to do a light, like, peachy pink. But I'm glad I did this icy blue instead, man. Okay, now we're going to see if I can do... Oh, the coordination's a little bit better on this side. So, how funny. I hear my... I hear forces just cracking up. So, oh my gosh. Like, I seriously have the best husband in the world. He's so freaking sweet so sweet I love him and he's like don't you love it you know because it's so funny we've been together you know 11 years and people always say you know how over time you lose interest in each other or whatever he's so funny he always goes you know I love you even more now you're so much hotter it's so funny he always says that you're so much more beautiful don't you he always says that but it's he always like goes like it's so funny um well, what is, how does he put it? He's like, even after 11 years, I still love you just as much, if not more, you know? Like, I don't lose interest at all. It's so funny. He's just, he's super cute. So the fact that, you know, he buys me all this new makeup because he knows it makes me happy. And then he goes out and buys me a new ring. Like, are you kidding me? And the fact that, it's not that he just went out and got a ring too. Like, he listened to the fact that I was like, oh my gosh, look at this jewelry. I showed it to him. And I was like, look how amazing this is. It's super cute. I love this, you know. And he actually, like, listened, paid attention to the one I want. And he's so funny. He even knew what size. I was like, how did you do it? And he's like, I know. I remember. It's a size 7 from the very first time I got your ring. And I'm like, dude, I didn't even remember that. So, we have to put on some mascara and a lippy but I just don't know what color oh I'm gonna just do I totally almost forgot so last night I had to go out and run some errands and I decided okay I'm gonna stop at CVS and I'm going to get that wet and wild rebel rose collection just the blush because it's like $4.99 or something and that was the thing I wanted the color changing blush and so I went they don't have it they have no idea what I'm talking about. CBS is like, um, we got the carnival set. And I'm like, dude, that was so long ago. So it said Walgreens had it. They didn't have it either. But what I did find at Walgreens was this. And it says it's a lip topper. And it's like an iridescent ice blue. However, they didn't have it in their system. There was the only one. It was in the wrong spot. It happened to be in front of like this burgundy iridescent lipstick I was looking at. And I was like, ooh, how much is this? Because I couldn't find it. Well, because they couldn't find it, they gave it to me for 99 cents. Score, I'll take it. So I think I'm going to try that over something else because it is like an iridescent topper, but that'll be really, really pretty. Oh my gosh, this eye look is actually really, really pretty. I love it. I am actually so happy. Ooh, James Charles, I am sister shook. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that. I couldn't not do that. I really am, like, in all honesty, I was, 
like I said, I'd been trying to decide if I wanted to get it, if I wanted to support him, do I, don't I, you know. And I was like, you know what, the palette's really nice. I'm going to go ahead and just go for it. And then I was worried, what if it's not that great? Some people I saw were like, oh, it's not good, this and that. I know that. Um, I really like my 15 pan palette, you know, the formula, but I got uh, a couple of the Jaclyn Hill, like from the vault, just two of them. And I only used one and it was really, you know, like a patchy formula and I wasn't too happy with one specific matte color. The shimmers were okay. So I was kind of worried. I was like, oh no, what if I get it and it's not a good formula? What if it's like that? But these are actually really, really nice. And I bet you that if I would have listened and followed directions to, um, actually put like an eye primer down it would be even you know more amazing than it is and I'm already super happy with it so hold on you guys concentration for the mascara oh my goodness I'm actually really really liking this mascara the Too Faced Better than sex mascara that we did get in BoxyCharm. But I am really, really liking it. Look at this. Look at my lashes are on the side. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Okay, you guys. So, what are we going to do for Lippy? We're definitely going to do this. Hold on. And then we're almost done. I know. Hold on. I'm so sorry. 31 minutes already. But, you guys, look at this. What do you think? And the underneath, like I said, I really like that icy blue in the center like I really really like that so let me know honest opinions what do you guys think what would you like to see me do what other colors do you think I should do and I was thinking about doing one of those videos that assume you know I've been seeing everybody do them and I asked my husband if he would do a video with me and he's like maybe so maybe if we can get do you guys think me and my husband should do one of those videos or what do you think me and him should do if we do a video together so, okay, like I said, this is a lip topper, and I did look it up. It is from the, like, Fire Dragon Ice Thunderbird. I don't know, but it did say it was a topper. You know what? It is a topper, but it is, like, gorgeous, gorgeous. Just, like, I'm wondering if I'm going to just do just that since I'm not going to go anywhere. Maybe I will. Hold on, see. Yeah. We are. Mm -hmm. Since I'm not going anywhere, I already went crazy with the eye look. I'm going to do just an iridescent gloss. This is really pretty. And this would make an amazing topper over so many colors. This would be amazing over like a burgundy. I bet you this would make that dark poop brown from the Kat Von D that I got in the boxy charm. This would probably make that look really pretty. Mm-hmm. It is just a totally like blue purple iridescent base. So that is awesome. And for 99 cents, are you kidding me? So again, what do you guys think of the look I did with the James Charles palette? I absolutely love it. Again, let's go ahead and I'll tell you guys. So we did the color canvas, skip, artistry, acapella, and hello and then I did face for my highlight so and then we did ring light for the brow bone I absolutely love it I love the way it turned out like I said I know I keep saying that so the highlights not too bad and my ring I just absolutely absolutely love it so what do you guys think did you like it did you not like it Leave me a comment. Let me know. I love you all so much. And we'll be back soon for another video. I hope you guys have a great night.